Hey First Baptist, hope you're having a great week. It's time again for Coffee with Chris. Grab a cup of coffee. Today we have a special episode with our guest, Matt Appleby, who's the media director here at First Baptist Church. got Matt Appleby with us today. He's our media director here at First Baptist Church, doing a fantastic job. Uh, been here a little over a year, started basically the week after I did, and so it's yep. kind of been a whirlwind 12 months, and we uh, we hired you to do our, our media, so you do video, and you do our sound, and you're, he's the genius behind our Coffee with Chris episodes, and the weekend wrap-up, and those types of things. Just does a great job editing video, managing our sound, working with a number of volunteers. Um, but you had to learn how to do sound once you got here. We, we saw how good he was with the video and knew that would pay dividends for years here at our church and figured he could get caught up. And you've done a great job learning how to manage our sound systems and that type of thing. And we'll talk a little bit about it later. But as you can see, Matt's actually got an Emmy for his video production. And so we're, we're thrilled to have you here on staff. So Matt, just let's start off. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Where'd you grow up? Tell us about your family and uh, what you did before you came to First Baptist and kind of how... Uh, how things are going now and what you hope to see happen in the near future. Sure, yeah. Uh, born and raised in Jacksonville. Uh, attended Trinity Christian Academy from nursery all the way through wow. high school. So I actually graduated with Pastor Will, same graduating class in 2005. Uh, cool. But uh, hung around Jacksonville for a couple of years afterward, just trying to figure out what I wanted to do as a career, what I wanted to major in in college. And uh, that's actually when I started getting into video work. And I eventually, you know, prayed about it and it felt like, you know, uh, God wanted me to follow this path of video production work. So I actually went to my parents' alma mater, Bob Jones University in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, that's where I majored in film and video production, graduated in 2012. Then I moved back down to Jacksonville and was hired as an editor for First Baptist Church Jacksonville downtown. And I was there for eight years. Uh, and in that eight years, the Lord was very gracious, uh, and I was able to use uh, the talents that he has given me to uh, uh, further uh, the expansion of ministries uh, at the church downtown and uh, was able to win an Emmy for a, a video that I did uh, of a missions group that went to Haiti. So cool. um, yeah, it, was, it was a lot of fun. But uh, I was there for eight years and then joined the staff here in August of last year. So, so, uh, and so you've also done a little, some cool things outside of the church as well. So, uh, you know, I'm thinking of a particular movie that I know my kids loved. You got to work on a movie when you were up in North Carolina or South Carolina. That's true. That. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, the summer before my senior year in college, uh, I actually knew someone. Uh, if if you know what teamsters are, mm -hmm. so uh, he drove the trucks for for the movie, and he invited me on set one day just to check it out. He knew I was a uh, film major and I went to the set of The Hunger Games, the first the first movie that they shot and uh, you know just fell in love with it immediately and they said hey do you want to intern for the summer? I'm like yeah yes and then eventually that internship became a, actually paid position as a production assistant so I am actually credited in in the first movie so, so we, we my can one see, claim to fame so we can see your name on yes, the credits at yes. the end of the movie that's cool so there's another member of the church that also has some some movie credits as well and so we'll, we'll, we'll save that for a future episode when we introduce him he's just a he's a great guy that serves on our security team and does some other cool stuff so now Matt we love you one of the things we really love about you is your family uh, your wife and your daughter still a little bit about them. Yeah, uh, so we just celebrated seven years of marriage. I'm uh, married to Rebecca, who you may recognize from uh, the worship team. Uh, so uh, immediately when we came here, we wanted to get plugged in. So it, it's been really great uh, being able to use uh, our talents together to to serve the Lord and uh, me with the video ministry and then with Becca on the worship team with Jonathan. And then we have a three and a half year old named Evie. Going on 20. Going on 20. She's a smart cookie, but uh, she's a handful, but she's, she's great. We love her to death. Right. I absolutely love walking into band rehearsal on Wednesday nights when Rebecca's singing and seeing your daughter up on stage singing the songs oh, with yeah. her mama and 
just it's it's just a beautiful thing to see. She and wants a microphone that's in, right. each time she's up there. So absolutely, man. So um, just don't give her one of the good ones, you know. Right. So, so we practice mic. We, yeah, practice mic. We don't want her to spike anything or anything like that. No mics dropped at right. First Baptist Church. They're just too expensive. So um, so you, okay. So in in the year you've uh, you've gotten up to speed and really developing our sound team, doing a good job there, and you've kind of figured that out and uh, you've improved our online ministry significantly. What you know the the video we put out the production quality has improved drastically uh, you, you're, you've done a fantastic job there so tell us about some of the things you're hoping to accomplish in the future with our uh, video and uh, social media and some of the other things that you right. help us with well you know uh, you know I think the past year especially with COVID it's just it's really forced us into making decisions quickly and really expanding our online presence so I almost see it as a blessing the future is bright and I'm really looking forward to just seeing how how far we can take this. You know? Absolutely, yeah. and, and I'm excited about it too. You know, one of the things we're reminded of, you know, the world outside of the church had shifted drastically mm. um, before COVID hit, and, and COVID kind of forced us to get caught up a little bit. Um, and so, uh, right now, it's it's never been easier for our shut-ins and those who are providentially hindered from coming to church to stay connected to our church. And then, of course, right now with all the COVID worries, we have some folks that, uh, for uh, safety's sake, for peace of mind, and other reasons, stay home and watch online. And we want to engage them as much as possible and remind them that they belong to our church. And so, the the increased. Uh, video production quality and some of the things that we're doing just trying to connect with others mm -hmm. has been extremely important and then of course one of the things I learned last year that was absolutely shocking to me is before uh, someone visits us on a Sunday they've usually checked out five or six online worship experiences uh, before they ever show up on campus. So it's extremely important to put our best foot forward with regard to our video production and help people see that we are a real family. And so uh, we try to do everything with excellence online because we do everything with excellence here on campus, and it makes a huge difference. And we, we've heard from a lot of guests that uh, watched online before they came to visit and ultimately ended up joining our church, and that, that online presence had a big impact on their lives. Of course, I hear regularly from some of our senior adults. Some We have several members in our church that have... Uh, compromised immune systems mm -hmm. and so because yeah. of COVID they're being very careful around crowds but they feel like they're able to connect and that's been a huge blessing to them because um, regardless of what's going on in your life if you can't be here on Sunday we still want to stay connected to you Absolutely. And, and video helps us do that and it's been a blessing uh, even for me uh, just with coffee with Chris and and, and now that with the weekend wrap-up that Pastor Jonathan does just having multiple opportunities to speak Throughout into the, the lives of our members and, and remind them to focus on God and think deeply about the things of Christ. And so we're very, very grateful you're on staff and look forward to what the future has in hold for us, uh, has in store for us. And so thanks for being here, man. Absolutely. It's, right. it's a pleasure. I, you know, there's nowhere I'd rather be. Good deal. We're glad to have you. Glad you're a part of the team. Glad you're a part of our real family. And so good to see you this week. Hope to hope you'll see you on Sunday. Until then, make sure you drink plenty of coffee, spend plenty of time in God's Word, and know we're praying for you.